Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig. If your home has both Macs and kids in it, you know it's hard to keep the two of them apart. But fortunately, there are parental controls in Mac OS X Leopard that enable you to feel safe as your kid roams on your computer and on the internet. Let's take a look in this episode of MacMost Now. The parental controls built into Leopard are a great way to lock down your machine and make sure that your kids are doing exactly what you want them to do and nothing more. Let's go and take a look at how to set up parental controls in Leopard. Now if your child is using your computer, what you probably want to do is set up a separate account for them. Likewise, if they have their own computer, you probably want to set up a standard administrator account that only you have the password to and then set up their own account. When you set it up and you do that by going to System Preferences in the Account section, press the plus symbol and you want to create a new account Manage with Parental Controls. Then just fill in the name and you don't have to give it a password unless you want to. When you create the account you'll get a warning message about not setting a password. After the account is created then you can go ahead and already uh, you just click on the Open Parental Controls as Enable Parental Controls is already enabled. You do that your system preferences will take you to the Parental Controls section. Click on the account and then you can start with the settings. Letting your kids have their own account is a really good first step because it means that they don't have access to your documents so they can't accidentally delete that all important spreadsheet from work. So letting them have their own account is a good way to make sure your stuff stays safe while they play. In the first section of parental controls are some general system settings. Like for instance you can choose to use the Simple Finder. and Then you can select what applications are shown in the Simple Finder. Simple Finder is a lot easier for small kids to use and of course it restricts the access to a lot of the more utility type applications. You can also select only allow selected applications and select exactly which applications they are allowed to run. You can select whether they can administer printers or burn CDs and DVDs. Also whether they can change their password if they've set one. The content tab probably has a lot of the stuff you're looking for. You can choose to hide profanity in the dictionary if you like. But more importantly there is website restrictions. You can do unlimited access. You can limit to adult websites automatically and you can add some websites and uh, add some websites also that they're allowed to visit. You can also allow access to only specific websites and you can add specific websites that you want to this list. So this is very useful when they're very young and you only want them going to certain websites and this might be more useful as they get a little older. Now this next set of preferences is very interesting especially if you've got preteens. You can limit their email. You can limit messages that they get to and from only certain email addresses. So you could allow grandma but disallow any strangers for instance. You can also do the same thing with iChat. This way they have to come to you for approval to be able to chat with their friends. Now if you'd like to limit how much time they spend on their computer you can also set time limits. You can set weekday time limits and set a certain amount of hours they can use and the same thing for the weekend. You could also set bedtime so the computer automatically will be required to be shut down uh, at a certain time each night. Okay, so now you've got everything in place, but you want to check up on them, see exactly what they've been doing. For instance, if they're supposed to be doing their homework for an hour, but you kind of think they were just surfing the web looking at comics, well, you can go ahead into the logs and look exactly what websites they visited, what applications they ran, and what they said on their chat. Now you may want to also sit down and talk to your kids about the stuff that they might find on the internet because after all this might not be the only computer they're using. They may also use computers at school, computers at the library, computers at friends house. Probably education is probably the best way to keep them safe as well as setting all these controls at home. Until next time this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.